My name is Lynn Liu. I'm a professor in chemical and biological engineering department at Princeton University. And I'm the director of the Anlinger Center for Energy and the Environment. My name is Mel Lazazan Edmonds. I completed my PhD studies working with Professor Lin Liu in the chemical and biological engineering department at Princeton University. I'm Nick Davey, the CEO of Anluca Technologies, a startup out of Princeton developing the most advanced windows in the world. It started with a simple inquiry on whether contorted molecules can actually conduct electricity. And so um, from there, we generated a library of compounds. Before Nick, there was a student who was studying the fundamental science of these materials. And Nick came along and made solar cells with these materials, discovered that they uh, uniquely absorb ultraviolet light. And that was when um, he started collaborating with Melda, who made the smart glass component um, of the device. And so it's through that collaboration that we discovered that we have something that's truly innovative and truly worth patentable. We were studying these materials. We found that they responded and harvested ultraviolet light in a much more efficient way than we anticipated. Um, and then Lynn had the idea to um, incorporate that technology with smart glass, specifically electrochromic um, polymers that had previously been used in the lab. And it happened to be that Melda's PhD was working on those materials. Um, and so we were able to team up and put together a prototype of a UV solar powered electrochromic window. Melda and Nick were pursuing their PhD at that same time. And they were working on actually very different projects, um, but came together and partnered on this project because uh, each one uh, was developing one component of the integrated device. In our research, when Nick developed these solar cells that can give, provide high open circuit potential, then we use these polymers and Nick solar cells to merge together in a smart window configuration. So we use the potential provided by the solar cell to change the color of the polymeric device between a dark state and transparent state. But what we're doing uniquely is actively controlling sunlight. So with our solar technology, we capture ultraviolet light, which is harmful to the building interior in terms of uh, furnishings, in terms of uh, human health. And then uh, we're using that solar power um, to actually sense the environment. So sense when the sun is shining, sense when the temperature um, is changing, and then actively um, help the building be more efficient in terms of energy and also more comfortable for the um, people inside. So with the solar technology that we have, we can absorb the ultraviolet light to generate that amount of energy that's needed to regulate that smart glass. So it's the pairing of the solar cell and the smart glass that will enable us to address the retrofit markets. So the product that we're thinking of is really a self-contained product. There are no wires um, that you can use as an insert into existing window dimension. If we can reduce the amount of heating and cooling we need in buildings, that significantly improves energy efficiency. When I think of Thomas Edison, I think of grit, I think of perseverance, I think of hard work, I think of never giving up. And so to have that honor and recognition associated with us um, uh, means a lot. It is fitting that the Thomas Edison uh, moniker for this award, um, for this particular technology, as Lynn mentioned, we're working hard to translate innovation from the lab to have an impact on society, um, which is exactly what Thomas Edison's innovations did. So uh, again, you know, Thank you very much, and it's a tremendous privilege and honor. This project was a true collaboration between different uh, team members, and it's really great to see that our collaboration it generated this great product at the end. We believe in perseverance, hard work, and we think we need to continue to persevere and work hard uh, to actually see this technology uh, become reality. On behalf of my fellow inventors, Melda Sezen Edmonds and Nicholas Davy, as well as the team members who've contributed to the science that eventually led to this patent, I'm proud and honored to accept this year's Edison Patent Award. The research that led to this uh, uh, patent started more than a decade ago and was sparked by a naive and simple question of whether contorted molecules can be electrically active. This line of questioning led us to making a library of new compounds with tunable properties. 
And at a time when the organic solar cell community was focused on developing absorbers that can absorb as much sunlight as possible, we came to realize that this family of compounds is uniquely positioned to only absorb ultraviolet light. By prioritizing visible transparency over power generation, we've created see-through solar cells that can be integrated into building facades. Today, Anne Luca Technologies is further developing this technology and marrying it with smart glass to create smart windows that can simultaneously decrease building energy consumption and increase occupant comfort. We are deeply humbled by this honor. Thomas Edison is known as a persistent and hardworking inventor. One of my favorite Thomas Edison quote is, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Certainly the team members who've contributed to this patent understand and appreciate this quote for this patent represents the countless numbers of hours that the team had poured into the project. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Princeton University, especially the Office of Corporate Engagement and Foundation Relations for their nomination, the Office of Technology Licensing for helping us navigate the world of startups, and the Research and Development Council of New Jersey for sponsoring the award and this annual event to promote the innovation ecosystem in New Jersey.